Okay, so we're on to number 26 here. Choose the independent variable and the dependent variable for the statements or questions below. Do not try to solve for the answer. Only identify which is the independent variable and which is the dependent variable. So remember, the independent variable is kind of the one we choose, and the dependent variable depends on what happens with the independent variable. The independent variable determines the dependent variable. I like to think of the independent variable like I'm free to choose, I'm free to do the number I want to, I'm free to stay at my resort as many days as I want to, or rent my car as many days as I want to, and that determines my um, cost. So the dependent variable depends on the independent variable. All right, so here we go. Ryan pays $200 per night to stay at a hotel near the beach. Find Ryan's total cost to stay near the beach on his vacation. Again, we're not solving. We're just um, choosing the independent variable and the dependent variable. You had a drop-down menu here that had the two variables, and you should have chosen for your independent variable where it was the number of days Ryan stayed. So the number of days he stays at this hotel is going to determine his total cost. So his total cost is the dependent variable, and the number of days that he stays is the independent variable. This amount depends on or is generated by that the number of days that he stays. So this is the independent variable. Ryan gets to choose the number of days he wants to stay, and then our total cost depends on how many days he stays. All right, 27, very similar. It says, um, again, we're not working it out. We're just choosing the independent variable and dependent variable. So the number of bowling pins knocked down determines my score from my game. And so my independent variable is going to be the pins that I knock down, and my dependent variable is the score of my game. So independent variable here, dependent variable here. My score, which mine is usually not very much at all, is determined by how many pins are knocked down. Okay, question 27, very similar. We're choosing the independent variable and the dependent variable. Again, we're not working them out. So Luke plays video games at the arcade. Each game costs 50 cents. How much does he spend? So we know that every time he plays a game, he has to spend 50 cents. He gets to choose how many games he wants to play. That's our independent variable. And then how much he, he spends, that is determined or depends on how many games he plays. So this is our dependent variable. Usually the amount, the total amount you have to pay, um, the total of the score, those kinds of things are going to be your dependent variable because they depend on how many baskets you make or how many nights you stay or how many games you play. So again, independent variable, the number of games we play, dependent variable, how much Luke spent. All right, question 29 says the point V is 3, negative 4, um, and it's reflected over the, we want to reflect it over the x-axis. What is the coordinates of the new point? So some of you struggled with this a little bit in the practice, and, and really, guys, you're just taking this point, and since it says over the x-axis, and we've highlighted that in red for you, you're going to move it up the same number of spaces away from the x-axis. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So on this same line, I'm going to move it up 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the point V, and we usually call that V prime now. That's the reflection of V over this line. It's the same number of spaces, and on the same line, away from X, but in the opposite direction. And so this is the new point that we want. And so this is 1, 2, 3, our X is 3, and then we go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3, 4 is our ordered pair there. So the reflection of V is 3, 4. Okay, we're getting close here. So again, we're going to reflect point R, which currently is 4, 5, but this time across the Y axis. So in other words, we want to be on the other side of this axis, the Y axis. Again, it's highlighted in red for you there. And so instead of being 4 units away to the left, we want to be 4 units away on this line to the right. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 in that direction. We want to go 1, 2, 3, 4 in the opposite direction on the same line and away from Y. And so we're going to tell what that point is. So that goes over 1, 2, 3, 4 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so that new point is going to be uh, 4, 5. 
and this actually is r is negative 4, 5. And again, I will correct that before you see the quiz, the practice quiz. So yeah, so our new point should have been 4, 5. We would have chosen 4, 5 there. All right, last one, and that's an extra credit option. It says here, Marcy is going to a carnival. The cost for each ride is $2. Write an equation with two variables to show the relationship between the, that should be the, number of carnival rides she goes on. That should be she. I changed my words around, didn't I? And so the number of rides she goes on will be R, and the total amount she spends is going to be S. And again, that will be corrected when you see your practice quiz. Okay, so the independent variable. So we've got to figure this out. Our dependent variable is going to be the total amount she spends, right? That's our dependent variable. That's always the dependent variable. The total score, the total amount she spends, okay? And what determines the total amount she spends? Well, that's going to be the number of carnival rides she goes on, right? So this is going to be our independent variable. How many carnival rides I go on, that's my independent variable. Now the equation, these are tough. The equation's tough, but we want the total amount that she spends for S, and then we know that that's going to depend on the number of rides she goes on, but remember each ride costs her two dollars, so we have to multiply two times R. So you can write that two equals, or S equals two R, or you can use a little um, multiplication symbol if you want to. It was like this uh, on your drop down box here. All right guys, um, please message us with any questions you have. Please make sure you go over this. If you didn't do well on the practice the first time, do it again. You can do it as many times as you want to until you're really comfortable with it. But everything you see on this practice quiz is going to show up on the actual um, test as well. It's not a quiz, it's a test. Um, so let us know if you need anything. We're here for you.